In the context of the passage as a whole, the primary function of the sentence in lines 10 through 12, it is meant is to what? We'll read here. It says, it is true that in real life, the hand-in was a common stance for elite men. It's a good idea, of course, to get the context here, which is such explanations, however, and I'm reading all the way up at line number eight. Such explanations, however, illuminate neither the source of this curious convention nor the reason for its popularity. Okay, so we're talking about explanations trying to account for the pose of man with his hand in his suit pocket or suit. So it says, it is true, and this is going to the important part, that in real life, the hands in was a common stance for elite men. Still, there were other ways of dot, dot, dot. The idea what Jerry wants you to notice is that they're conceding that, yes, this is true. You looked out and you observed elite men, you would see them with their hand in stance, but it doesn't necessarily answer the question. So again, we want to know if that specific sentence itself is a concession point, it's saying that one there is one explanation and it is based in fact, and that's all it's saying. Even though it goes on to say still or however, at least it's conceding that one point that elite men did have the hands in stance, and therefore that leads us to answer choice E, which is, which is concede that one explanation for the prevalence of a particular portrait type has a basis in fact. Again, basis in fact matches up with it was a common stance for elite men.